here to plan in my no drama llama for the third week and I am so inspired by one of my viewers. Oh, let's see. I'm thinking that there are not enough weeks in this month. Oh, you guys, we might have to like bujo this happy notes section for the last week or maybe I think so what we'll have to do because I think what they do is they give you four weeks and this week or this month happens to have five. So I think, I think what we'll do is we will just have this function for two weeks maybe, or maybe I will like bullet journal this section. Man, that's kind of rough. So I guess that's a downside of this planner. If you are someone who is looking at this planner or looking at monthly spread layouts, this only has five or four weeks. So let me see if any of the other months have five. I don't think they do. That is kind of a bummer. Yeah, they are all four. It looks like they're all four weeks. Okay. So, well, we're into the fourth week. So I guess that's what will have to happen. Or maybe what we can do is because February starts that next week, I believe. Let me just double like cross reference in my, in this planner. So yeah, I guess we could bump it into February. Okay. I'm gonna have to think about how I do that fifth week. So anyways, that just kind of threw me off. I was like, wait, what? We're not done with this planner yet, but this is how it's been going. Super functional, but I've been pretty inspired by some of you guys. And yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to, to get into my planner this week. So one of my viewers actually tagged me in a spread where she used this gorgeous sticker, this follow the call of the disco ball. And I love it. It was so pretty and so exciting. I just, I thought it was super pretty. So, but these are all going to be for the like classic size monthly. So I'm trying to figure out, like I'm very inspired by her spread. So I guess what I want to do first is I'm going to get the days of the week down. So we will get those down and I think I'm going to use this as a meal plan section again. I've really been liking that. So stay tuned. I will go ahead and put these down now. And I guess I will just go ahead and talk through this. So this week is not going to be crazy busy because it will just be there. Our kids are out of school for the first two days of the week. So we might have like some fun adventures to do with them. I'm pretty excited. I think I actually have work though on Tuesday. So I work for a different school district than where my kids go, which is usually, so I usually line up our breaks on the same, like around the same time, but sometimes things like overlap. So for example, my daughter has Monday and Tuesday off. So this week is Martin Luther King Jr. Day and it happens to also fall around a teacher planning day. I can't remember, is it this week? So I think it'll be the next week after this week. So my daughter has a field trip coming up and it's a field trip that you have to like go on a training for. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do it. Number one, because it's on one of my work days and it sounds like it's kind of an all day thing and I'm not sure, I'm just not sure if I can, I'm just not sure if I can spare the time right now with work being just so busy, like the way that it is, it's so busy right now. We have had some changes in some of our policies and we're getting near the end of the semester. But I did tell her teacher I would check to see if there was anything that I could do. And even if I'm not actually able to go, I'm hoping that I will be able to at least like, oh no, like I feel like they just need bodies. Like they just need volunteers. And I might, because, so my husband's been home, like there, he finished a big chunk of like a project at his work. So he's been taking some vacation time and just being with us, which has been super nice. So I might, I might just utilize him and see if he can go because I know they need people. Usually he likes to go on the field trips that are outside. That's like totally Brian's jam, but man, yeah. I just don't know if I can go. Like I want to go and I will, I love to go on field trips. It's one of my favorite things to do because I love to see Delilah with her friends and just like, I don't know, field trips are just a lot of fun. Like I like to go on as many as I can, even with my own school. So I don't know. I just really, I really like it. Okay. So we have that. And then, okay. So this would be like the meal plan space. I see what we've got going on here. 
Okay, so let's see here. I think I'm only gonna do three meals this week. I've been trying that out and it seems like that is something that's actually gonna work really well because, and I'll tell you why, making a different meal every night is stressful. <laughs> it's very, very stressful. And man, I, I struggle with making a meal every night and making like the appropriate portions and then what do you do with leftovers and all of oh, everything, like <laughs> everything. So I need to just make sure that we only have a few few different meals and then leftovers and then maybe like quick meals. So that would be something that I could just like throw together if I wanted to or needed to, but not something that's gonna take like a ton of my time, if that makes sense. We're gonna see, we're gonna see what we can pull out here that will work. Hopefully something will work here. Grocery list, chores. I wish the mom life one had like the meal plan thing. Like I like the icons, I really do, but I'm just not sure. Like, I don't understand, I don't get it. Then let's see, maybe, maybe the mini Miss Maker will have something, like kind of a functional deal. Oh, these Miss Maker stickers are so cute. I just love them. They're so cute. They're a little long. I think the Miss Maker mini is a little bit longer. Let's see, oh, these are a little shorter, but those are not super functional. Been there, pinned that, more ideas than time. This one actually might work really well for this monthly situation because I don't think it'll take up the wrong amount of space. This actually looks like a St. Patrick's Day spread now with the screen in here. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to go into the to-do, but that's okay. I usually don't have a ton of like to-do items on Sunday, so I think that that'll be all right. I just want to make sure that this is getting on there straight seems and I but I also want to cover up oh I guess this will be four that's fine I could probably even like include a leftover spot if I wanted to okay that looks great and then I think in the monthly sticker book that writes wherever that went I have so many sticker books in front of me right now you guys there was like a meal plan sticker oh there it is okay and maybe I can like pop that on the top. And if you hear creaking, it is my table. Okay, meal plan. Oh, that actually looks cute. So meal plan, put that right there. I love that. And I, I love that this is just so stinking functional. Like it, I just love it so much. I have been in love with this planner since I saw it advertised. And now that I have it, I just love it. It's one of my favorite things. Okay, so now I want to put some, I want to put a little bit of deco, I guess, around some fun things. Let's see, because I've, the other gal who I follow, her spread had some cute little, cute little things, some quotes. Let's see, rock this day. And I think I like the gold, like I think this is going to be really fun. Okay, and then maybe like this little smiley face. That's really cute. Okay. What else can we put down? I don't want it to be too busy either because I do want it to be like fairly functional because that's kind of the point of this planner. So Monday, we are gonna have an appointment. So maybe I'll use this little green clock to mark that. Okay, a little flag canceled next time, not today. <laughs> that's cute. I love the scripting that they're coming out with lately. It's some of my favorite things. You've got this babe meal plan, get busy. Man, I wish I could get not busy. Like, is there a sticker that says get not busy? <laughs> or like stay your butt home and chill. <sighs> I wish somebody could tell me that because I feel like I'm just always, I'm always on the go. Okay, what else can we put in here? Okay, we'll, we'll pull out our trusty glam girl because, oh, the day off, okay. It's only one day off, no, there's two, three, four. Okay, so we'll do because we have two days off this week. Cool, okay, so this is gonna be day off and Tuesday is gonna be a day off. Cute. This is coming together really nicely. I actually really like it. Oh, let's see. Noted, love the weekend. I wish I had more room. Like that's something that I kind of wish about this planner is that I I wish that it did have a little bit more room. So maybe that means that next time I'll need the classic. 
but I do like that the mini can kind of go with me. And I do have some ideas of like things that I want to change in my setup. So yeah, there might be, there might be some changes coming when I do the monthly, like the monthly view. And I totally slacked, like I didn't get my budget set up, but I'm definitely like, again, you guys have heard me say it. January is a trial month. <laughs> February is the month where it actually counts, like where all the resolutions and stuff for goals or whatever you wanna call them. Oh, I do have a payday on, let's see, on Tuesday. So I'm gonna mark that. I've got a payday and it's a day off. Tuesday's gonna be a great day. Let's see, what else can we put down? Anything else cute? Oh, appointment. I kind of already marked one on there for an appointment. Nails, Monday is a nail day usually. Manny Petty, coffee. Let's lunch appointment. Let's see, date night, busy weekend project. We always have weekend projects going on. I think that's probably a weekly workout. Probably add that in on some of those. That's kind of a cute idea. Well, I think that's everything that's going to go into this spread this time. Again, these are always super functional. So if you're here for like decor and stuff, and I'll like show it to you a little bit more because trying to film a foiled sticker or photograph a foiled sticker is like the challenge of a lifetime. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you're new around here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below. If you are one of my current subscribers, thank you so much for all of your love and support. And if you want to find me on other social sites, you can find me over on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And by the way, you guys have fun today. Bye.